I am here to review Whisper of the Heart. Um, Whisper of the Heart is a th animated film done by Studio Ghibli, who I consider to be one of the greatest um, film studios of all time, and I think they're an example of quality over quantity. Um, during their time, um, they have well, they've had like maybe about like twenty something movies, kind of at about an average of a movie of a, ye a year. So it's kind of really more of a quality over quantity, and they've made some some really great films, and some of the great not just some of the greatest, you know anime films, just their anime films are some of the greatest films, I think, in general, and Whisper of the Heart is a film that I really like, um, a beautiful film. Now, I want to, I should address that when it comes to romance films, I think romance can be one of the worst genres for films, I think romance films can be filled with such tiresome cliches, such boring stories, like, of course, you know, and a lot of movies are predictable, like, you know, the hero's gonna defeat the villain, but even romance films, like, you just have the cover, you know, oh, the guy and the girl will get together, who cares, blah, 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 and, oh, there'll be, like, this rival guy who the girl will like more at first, but he's, like, completely one-dimensionally bad, etc., you know, all this stuff that gets really boring, really tiresome, so... A lot of romance movies are just some of the most tiresome, bothersome, annoying movies. So when a really good romance film comes out, it really deserves to be celebrated and deserves special attention. And Whisper of the Heart is a great romance film. It's a beautiful uh, story. Um, focuses on this like girl, Shizuku, who wants to be a writer. So... Um, movie I could connect to because I wanted to be a writer for a long time and uh, worked on becoming one and uh, you know she meets this guy Seiji and you know he's working to be a violinist and uh, Shizuku and Seiji they're both you know fairly young so they kind of have these you know interactions where they don't get along the best but it's not like tense or anything just kind of comedic arguments like oh and it's all you know it's playful enough, innocent enough, and, but then they kind of start, you know, hanging out, and they form a good connection that's really sweet, and it's not just a story where, like, oh, you know, uh, you know, she thinks the guy's cute, and he thinks she's cute, um, you know, they kind of respect each other, and kind of inspire each other, because they're both trying to follow their dreams, so I feel like the connection they form is meaningful and sweet, and, um, it's not really shallow or superficial or anything like that. It's just a really good, really sweet story. And Jizuku, like, meets Seiji's grandfather. And he kind of serves like a mentor to Shizuku. And it's a, that's a very sweet subplot. And there is this character here, the Baron. And that's kind of like Shizuku kind of imagined the story about the Baron because there's like this statue in the store that Seiji's grandfather owns and she gets inspired by that to make a story and it's a it's a really interesting well done movie and it's it's a really relaxing movie you know there is like you know Shizuku imagines these sort of fantasy sequences with this Baron cat because she's kind of thinking about her story but for the most part it is a very down-to-earth movie, um, you know, the kind of, you know, lots of characters just, you know, talking, hanging out, it's a very relaxing, very pleasant movie, but it's also at the same time not a movie where, like, oh, nothing happens, stuff does happen, and it's a very sweet, touching story where these, uh, two characters, they form a connection and a real bond, and it's very sweet and well done, and, a uh, very innocent, good story with a lot of heart. I mean, it's called Whisper of the Heart. And uh, the film was directed by Yoshifimi Yush Kondu. I, um, at least that's, um, I think that's, I apologize if that's not, um, it's like a, kind of a hard name for me to pronounce, but um, he was, I think, supposed to be one of Studio Ghibli's big new directors along with Hayao Miyazaki and Aizo Takahata. Um, and sadly he did pass away, um, this, so this was the one Studio Ghibli film that he directed, um, but I think 
um, he deserves to be remembered for making this wonderful film that's one of the best romance films I think of all time and a very beautiful sweet film and I think he deserves to be remembered for making this really great sweet story that can be enjoyed and appreciated and I think he did an absolutely wonderful job with his film and it's very sad um, that he passed away at his young age and but I'm very thankful that you know he made this film and his work and his legacy can live on and I think this is a really good movie it's really well done with a lot of emotion a lot of heart um Hayao Miyazaki did work on the movie um like I said he's not like the director of this movie he was involved though with I think like the story and let's see according to this like a producer on it so he did help out and so it, it's a really good well done movie very sweet and touching and uplifting and inspiring to those, you know, following your dreams and, you know, meeting someone who's also following their dreams and how two people who have an attraction to each other can inspire each other to pursue their dreams. So it's a really uplifting, wonderful film and, you know, I think it'd be a good movie to put, you know, people in a good mood. I, I really do highly recommend Whisper of the Heart.